including what the Browns are going to do at quarterback. And to that end, our friend uh, Dan Orlovsky uh, had some thoughts on Twitter. Uh, the Browns shouldn't sign Jimmy G, talking about oh. Jimmy Garoppolo, the 49ers. They had their version in Baker uh, <laughs> and moved on. Uh, so Garoppolo, you know, just by way of background, for those who don't know, is, is uh, the Niners quarterback who's very much available in trade because they're moving on to Trey Lance uh, at that position. Um, Chris Canty, we haven't heard from you. I, I think Mike has something to say on this, but I want to start with you, Chris. Uh, do, do you think the Browns should pursue Garoppolo, or do you agree with Orlovsky? They should absolutely go after Jimmy Garoppolo if Deshaun Watson is suspended indefinitely. And guys, I don't know what Dan Orlovsky is smoking because oh the Cleveland Browns <laughs> moved on from Baker because they traded for Deshaun Watson, who's a top 10 quarterback by most accounts. That's a clear upgrade. But the reality is, based on what the quarterback room looks like for the Cleveland Browns right now, Jimmy Garoppolo represents a better talent than anybody else. Now, the only question becomes whether or not the margin between Jimmy G and the other quarterbacks the Browns have is worth the actual cost by the way of draft picks and by the way of salary in order to bring Jimmy G in. But in terms of him being a fit for which the fan, it's a very comparable scheme to what Kyle Shanahan runs out there with the San Francisco 49ers. West Coast, West Coast offense passing concepts married with Inside, outside zone running game, a lot of play action. And last year, Jimmy Garoppolo led the National Football League in yards per attempt on play action passing. So it mm. seems like it would be a great fit. And I, I think that's something that the Cleveland Browns should absolutely explore if Deshaun Watson is suspended for even longer. And, and to take that a step further, I totally agree with Chris, which is I like Jacoby Brissett, Dan, but – you're one hit away from having to play Josh Rosen or Josh Dobbs. You have a really good football team in Cleveland. Just the depth alone that Jimmy Garoppolo brings in, it's an absolute no-brainer because, again, you don't know how long Deshaun Watson will be out there. When you get an opportunity to add a quarterback of Jimmy Garoppolo's ability who's accomplished in the last two to three uh, years, gone to the Super Bowl and the championship game, it's an absolute no-brainer for Cleveland. And now you, ha you may have depth if Watson comes back, which is okay. Of course, uh, Canty makes a point that, you know, Garoppolo's not free. Cleveland not exactly loaded with draft picks <laughs> after the Watson trade, right? So, yeah. Diana, what mm -hmm. are the 49ers uh, looking for here? What, what's, the, what's the latest on their plans for Jimmy? Yeah, they're basically just sitting back and waiting for the right scenario. Mike, I know you've been in a situation like this before come August with movement of major quarterbacks here. So, the Niners are waiting for all the different scenarios to play out. And Kyle Shanahan was pretty open, and he's always very transparent with the media, that he doesn't know of any trade that's in the works right now. Right now, of course, is the, is the key word. So we know all the different options, right? Either the Niners are going to wait for, unfortunately, a quarterback to get injured, or perhaps if the league comes down and this suspension changes from six to a full season, maybe this is when the Browns step in and perhaps pursue Jimmy Garoppolo and of course we know Jimmy is not part of the plans for the 49ers for 2022 this is Trey Lance's team not thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN plus